Hello everyone. Welcome to Literacy Grade R, where the magic of words and stories inspire us to learn. Are you ready for a brand new day? Can we call Boo Ben Gary? Say Boo Ben Gary. Boo Ben Gary. Sabona Boo Ben. Goeiemorgen, Gary. Did you have a good evening? Aha. Uh -huh. What did you guys do yesterday? Did you make me crocodiles from egg cartons? Great Oz, did you have fun? Right. Can we sing hello? Ha is for hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you wave hello? Hello, hello, hello. Wave hello to your left and wave hello to your right. Hello, hello. We all wave hello. Good morning. Kon Johnny. Nda. Hello. Goeie dag. Mweni, Dumela, Saubona. Hello, everyone. Right. Are you ready to tell me which day of the week it is? So, yesterday was Tuesday. So, today must be. That's right. Wednesday. Okay, so yesterday was Tuesday, so today is Wednesday. Well done, everyone. So what is our date? Our date is Wednesday, 27 May. Big numbers. Let me do that again. Wednesday. 10 fingers plus 10 fingers gives us 20 plus 7 gives us 27. So we are on Wednesday, 27 May, and we are in autumn. So yesterday, we learned all about winter. Okay, let's go through it again. So we have one, two, three, four seasons. We have spring. That is when all the flowers grow and come out. Then we have summer when we swim and it's hot and we have lots of fun outside. Then we go into autumn where we are now. And then we go to winter when it's cold. So autumn, then we go to winter. Yesterday, we looked at what South Africa looks like in winter and we saw fires and snow and frost and um and it just looked cold what do we wear in winter so what clothes guys what am i wearing today i am wearing a gray scarf and you'll see i've got like a polar neck on let's see if you can see so it goes all the way up look there all the way up to my neck okay so that i'm nice and warm and i've got long sleeves so that is winter clothes and then i can put a nice jacket on but let's look at some other clothes there's our warm socks from yesterday where we warmed ourselves up at the fire oh she's got a hat and scarves and nice warm boots and it looks like she's holding hot chocolate or coffee or some nice tea there are some jackets and scarves and long pants and hoodies do you have nice warm clothes there's a red scarf and a red hat and some red gloves again some boots do you have warm winter clothes? Right, then we also want to know 
what time of the day it is. So do you know what time of the day it is? Is it morning, afternoon or night time? Let's find out. Do you see our sun is crossed with a moon and stars? So look at our picture. Let me show you. In this picture, we've got a moon. Do you see our moon? And we've got stars and we've got the sun. Do you see there the sun? Then we've got nighttime, dark sky, and we've got bright blue sky for daytime. This picture has got many different things. So where are we now? Are we in nighttime or are we in daytime? Let's find out at what time of the day. Wow. So let me undo all of that. Right, let's go. So we get morning. What happens in the morning? In the morning, we wake up and stretch and we brush our teeth and we comb our hair and we eat breakfast. And then we go to school or online school like we're doing now. Then in the afternoon, that's this part. Sorry, that's this part. Let me show you. In the afternoon is when we're finished with school and we go and play. Then we get evening. That's when we have dinner and we get ready for bed and we go and brush our teeth again and we maybe put on our pajamas and mom and dad reads a book for us. Then it's night time when we go and sleep. Okay, maybe mom and dad reads you to sleep. We dream in our sleep like doo doo. And then we get to morning again where we wake up and we stretch and we go to school. So, where are we? Do you know? Okay. So, let's try this. So, morning, we said, is when we bath and get ready for school. In the afternoon is when we play and at night time is when we go to sleep. So can you tell me where are we in our day? Let's see. So I think we are in morning. Why? Because we just ate breakfast brushed our teeth, we got dressed, and you guys are listening to me. We are an online school. Do you see the computer? Let me show you. Do you see our computer here? That's our online school. That happens in the morning. So right now, we are in morning. Well done, everyone. So let's do this together. Can you help me find out if the pictures are morning or afternoon or maybe in the evening or both? Are we going to ask help from Boo Bear? Can you call Boo Bear? Say Boo Bear, please come help. Let me hear you say Boo Bear. Hey Boo Bear. Can you help us? Uh -huh. All right, guys, let's do this. In our first picture, this one, the girl is sleeping. Is it daytime or is it nighttime? Are we going to show the moon or the sun? Let's find out. It is night time. Well done. Our next one, 
Let me show you which one is this one. The children are waiting for the bus to go to school. Is that nighttime or is it daytime? Can you show me? Is it nighttime or daytime? It is daytime. That's right, because they are going to school. Then we're going to do the girls swimming. Can you see this part? Can we swim at night? Yes, Boobie, we can, but it's dangerous. So, do you think it's nighttime or daytime? That's right, we swim during the day because it's safe. This boy is watching television. Is it nighttime or is it daytime? Oh, this is an interesting one. When do you watch TV? During the day or at night or both? Yes, Boobie, I think we can watch TV at daytime and in nighttime. So we can do both. All right, this one, the girls are reading at school. Are we at school at night or during the day? That's right, Boobie during the day so it must be the sun yes the boys are playing soccer do we play at night or during the day guys that's right we play during the day so morning afternoon is daytime and then when the stars come out and the moon it is nighttime Good job, everyone. So let's find out about Dudu's dream and our story. Let's find out what time of the day it's in. All right, guys. So in our story, let's quickly just clear that. There you go. In our story, you will see Dudu is reading. Can you tell me? If the picture is showing nighttime or daytime, what clues do we have? Let's see. Well, there's a moon and there's stars, so it must be. Yes, Booby, I also think it's nighttime because she's also in her bed and she's reading a book with her teddy and she's got her nighties on. And when we sleep and dream, it is nighttime. Can you tell me if the next picture is also nighttime? I think so. Right, guys, in this picture, is it daytime or nighttime? Let's find the clues. So, Dudu's mom woke her up in our story. There is an alarm clock mm -hmm, and it's pointing to morning, okay? Then can you see the sun is up and it's nice blue skies? And we can also see some blue skies here. Yes, that's right. We are in morning, daytime. Good job, everyone. Right, so yesterday we did our never smile at a crocodile. Can you remember? Did you go listen? Was it nice? Let's sing it together. Never smile at a crocodile. No, you can't get friendly with a crocodile. Don't be taken in with his welcome grin. He's imagining how well you'd fit within his skin. Never smile at a crocodile. Crocodile. Never dip your hat and stop to talk a while. Never run, walk away, say good night, not good day. Clear the aisle, but never smile at Mr. Crocodile. 
crocodile. Guys, does that crocodile have a funny grin? What does the word grin mean? It's a smile. It's like a hmm. So the crocodile goes, yum, I'm hungry. I am going to eat you. Can you make a grin? Mm. Can you lick your lips like the crocodile? Right, let's sing it again. Never smile at the crocodile. No, you can't get friendly with the crocodile. Crocodile, don't be taken in by his welcome grin. Mm. He's imagining how well you'd fit within his skin. Oh no! Never smile at the crocodile. Never dip your hat and stop to talk a while. Never run, walk away, say good night, not good day. Clear the aisle, but never smile at Mr. Croc. Dial. Well done, everyone. Remember to go watch the movie and find out all about Mr. Crocodile and why he goes tick tock, tick tock. Mm -hmm. Ask mom and dad to go find it for you. It's from Peter Pan. Right, guys. So, do you know where some of the animals in our story stay? For the last three days, we've unpacked our story. Let's match where they stay. Can you remember? Let's see. A rhino, a bird, a monkey, a crocodile, and a turtle. Let's see where we can make them sleep or stay. We've got a nest. We've got water or a river. We've got more water and a river. We have got the bush felt. And we've got a tree. Ube, can you help me and our friends at home find the matching homes? Right, let's try, guys. So let's do our rhino. Where do you think our rhino will stay? In a bird's nest? <laughs> no. In water? No. In the bush felt? Yes, that's right. In the bush felt. Good job. Now let's look at our bird. Could it be in a tree? Maybe. Is it in a bush felt? Mm -mm -mm. Does our bird stay in the water? Uh uh uh. What about a nest? Good job, everyone. Right, so our monkey, does our monkey sleep in water? Uh, uh, uh. Does our monkey sleep in a nest? Uh, uh, uh. I'm hearing you guys say a tree. That's right, guys. It's in the tree. A monkey stays in a tree. Our crocodile, where would our crocodile sleep? Yes, we learned it sleeps in water. And our turtle? That's right, in water as well. Well done, guys. You listened so well to our story. I'm very proud of you. So, what are we going to do at home? Yes, Booby, I like it too. I would like you to take more egg boxes and make us some turtles so we can do some recycling. So if you take the small parts or cut out small parts of the egg box, then you can get your turtle shell. And if you take cotton wool and you take some paint and color it, you can get the head of the turtle. You can make eyes and color it or you can paste eyes with buttons or something and then you can make legs but guys be creative you can make legs with paper like in our picture or you can use sticks or leaves to make the legs or you can use um, ice cream sticks or straws 
find recyclable material and make our turtles because if we recycle we look after our turtles in the sea remember we take care of one another our homework is a fun hand puppet activity okay so go and download this and it tells you exactly what you need to make finger puppets i can't wait to see them please send us some pictures the more that you read the more things that you'll know the more that you learn the more places you will go the last three days we went magical places because we read Doodoo's story. So remember to read, read, read. Tomorrow is Thursday. I can't wait to see you. Helpful links there for you parents with everything we need to learn. Remember to continue to practice writing those names. What did we do today? We continued with our story identified animals you are going to make some great things at home with recycling we learned all about winter and the time of day and we did some song and matching facts and a whole bunch of other stuff are you ready to say goodbye we are say gary gary did you enjoy our night and daytime Right. Goodbye, goodbye. We had some fun. We had some fun today. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Now let's go and play. Go play everyone and have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you for all our sponsors. Thank you for my host. Thank you for everyone helping us with the lessons. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.